Hello guys, today we are going to take a look of the insights on a Huawei Honor 4C or also called a Huawei G Play Mini in uh, some countries of the world. Now, uh, those are all the components that are inside the phone. Um, I had to disassemble it because my display broke. I um, ordered a new one and I'm going to uh, put it together later. But uh, let's take a look at the components. That's just the back cover. Um, nothing fancy here, just a rubber ring around here, so um, no dust or moisture can go inside. That's the speaker grill. Here we can see the little speaker. Oh, it's, it's magnetic. Uh, also with a rubber seal around it. Otherwise, there isn't. Uh, there is a little um, the glass on here for the camera and uh, also the glass for the um, for the for the for the um, LED light. Um, other than that, there isn't anything interesting on on this here. Now we're going to the most important uh, part of the whole thing, and that's the VCB. It's the motherboard of the of the um, phone, if you wanna wanna call it that. Now let's start on the top here. Now here we have a 13 megapixel um, front-facing camera. This thing here is uh, uh, nothing other than. Uh, for a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, it's quite a rare sight uh, those days. Now let's continue onwards. Here we have the internal power management of the phone. Um, there is the thing where the battery is connected to. Um, now the next thing here, this this little bracket contains the CPU and GPU. Um, it's the system on a chip part of the phone where all the important stuff is happening. In there is a uh, octa-core that clocks to 1.2 gigahertz and um, to be exact it's a Kirin 620 and the CPU is a uh, Mali 450. So even for this here is a mid-range phone it has quite um, a strong uh, CPU and GPU for the matter. Now here we have the internal ports. We see two the uh, SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2, and here in the middle we have a micro SD slot to expand storage. Here we have the display connector, nothing too fancy, and uh, let's turn it over. Here we see the little uh, 5 megapixel uh, front camera in the middle here, and other than that, the, oh yeah, and the charging port, and that's the whole PCB of this phone. Now let's take a look at the battery. It comes with a 2550 mAh um, battery. That's quite a lot for also a mid-range phone. It's um, enclosed in a metal housing to, uh, I think, to, to shield it and to protect it and give the phone a little bit more strength to it. Um, nothing too fancy here, it's a standard battery and encased in this metal block here. And I reckon that this metal block weighs way more than all other components of this phone combined. Now we're coming to the screen. This screen uh, is a new one I ordered. It's uh, for uh, Honor 4C. Is it? Yeah, 4C. But it will work with a Huawei G Play just fine because it is essentially the same phone with just another name and without a logo on it. Now here we have the screen connector. That's the port that um, is fed through this GPU with information. And here we have the power connector for the display to give it power, to give it juice. And here we have the middle part of the phone. Um, it contains a metal construction uh, for strength and the other interesting thing is just um, the rumble motor, also the vibrating motor for the phone. And here in the front side, this is the part where the display is going to sit. This thing is going to sit on top of it. I will glue it onto it and um, I must remove the glue stains here, but um, yeah. I maybe will do a video where I assemble a phone. It isn't too hard 
just a few screws and uh, push and pull connectors and thanks for watching so now you know what's inside a standard uh, mid-range Huawei phone thanks for watching